I'm all for peaceful protest. Peaceful protest is an essential part of democracy. Protest can bring about change in the world. Protest can let your elected leaders know that something is wrong in society. But when peaceful protest turns to violence, when peaceful protest turns to rioting, when peaceful protest turns to looting and vandalism, what do you think the government are going to do? Will they just sit back and watch you smash windows and vandalise their neighbourhood? Will they just sit back and watch you burn down buildings and police stations? Will they just sit back and watch you attack police and destroy their vehicles? Will they just sit back and watch you destroy society? No. When you turn violent, when you destroy property, when you attack the police and therefore the government, they will respond in kind. Will any of this bring about the change that you desire? No. It will bring about curfews. It will bring about harsher rules. It will bring in the National Guard. It will bring about more violence. Is that what you wanted? Is that the sort of change that you desired? I don't think it is. I know you're angry. I know you're upset. But violence and looting will be your death knell. If you burn down buildings, if you throw rocks at police, if you smash windows and destroy police cars, you've sealed your own fate. You're no longer the peaceful protester. You're the enemy. Crossing state lines to incite violence is a federal crime. Liberal governors and mayors must get much tougher, or the federal government will step in and do what has to be done, and that includes using the unlimited power of our military and many arrests. Thank you.